did you see anything on that freakish kind of last second goal? Where were you when that happened? I mean, it's a hard ball to handle and came in the box really fast. It came over the first line and the ball bounced and it just went, it hit me and then they hit Nolan and it kept bouncing everywhere and they put it in and went right to the player and they put it in. It's, I mean, it's, it's bad luck, but hopefully in the next few games, put this game behind us in the next few games, we'll get the next good a result we want and hopefully make it to the World Cup. Did you feel like, like you had them in the last 10 minutes? Because it looked like they were tiring and you guys were, were getting your tails up a bit and looking like you were creating a few more chances. I mean, I think, I think we had them in the last 10 minutes. Um, I mean, every, both teams were pushing forward and there was open space. And, and I just think just bad luck. And they had the luck on their side and they came out with the win. And that's how the game works. So You've seen how compact and how together the group is off the field. Uh, how much is that going to help over the next couple of days as you prep to get things back to, to where they should be? Um, I mean, we're a close group and we, uh, I mean, it's going to, today is the really, recovery is going to be really important and just getting the group back together and refocusing on the next game and just making sure we're ready for the next game and just getting the vibes and the team back where it was before this game and go to the next game and work, work for each other and, and I know we'll win. Two straight wins is now sort of mandatory. Uh, Cuba and Honduras, what, what needs to, to be tweaked at and what do, you, what do you need to work on over the, the next couple of days just to, to peak at the right time? I mean, just being sharper on the ball and moving the ball more and just faster and and I think we'll be fine and just be clinical around the goal and we'll be fine. And once we get that, we'll be good because I don't think we are playing our best soccer and, and I think in the next few games we'll start doing that and I think we'll be fine. Now, the beginning of the day wasn't too bad for you. You did end up going number one in the MLS draft. Uh, how did that one feel, putting the game aside, how did that one feel for at least that moment to, to know where you're going and to know that you, you were number one in the MLS draft? Um, it was a really exciting moment and just to celebrate with these players and like Canadian players and just going number one in the draft was just a moment I've been waiting for and hopefully I can celebrate again if we make, when we make it to the World Cup and win these next two games and, and it'll be a, a great time for everyone. You're always sort of a, the quiet, unassuming guy. You let your, your teammates make all the noise in there. What was, what was that moment like when you suddenly, you hear just the University of Connecticut and then you have teammates on top of you? I mean, it was an exciting moment. My heart was beating really fast and they were just making a lot of noise. So, and, and I mean, it was just a moment I'll never forget because I celebrated with them and players that I play with and it'll be a moment I'll remember.